All right, dudes. Um, you know, I'm going to talk about this uh, hospital job I'm doing right now and the insane standards that it has, which I was prepared for. So it's not like throwing us off or causing any problems. But, you know, people ask me a lot about taxes and I get some questions about insurance and it seems like that's what people think are the like the barriers to entry or like the taxes and the insurance. And that's really not it. You know, it's it, the, the real the real thing you need to think about that, like, stops businesses from getting ahead is like the regulatory environment you're in. Like regulations are what, like more than, like more than taxes, more than insurance, more than all the other bullshit. It's fucking regulations, right? Like, let's look at this hospital that I'm doing. Okay, the standards are insane. So they've already got a lot of walls framed up, and they just use uh, steel studs, and it's standard two by fours, you know, uh, 22 gauge steel studs. Well. The inspector comes in there and he's like, no, you need to use 16 gauge studs. And it's like, what? Like, and if you guys don't know, like I'm not a framer, but I know like those 16 gauge studs fucking suck. They're so fucking heavy and thick and they're just more of a pain in the ass. And he's like, no, that's what you have to use for everything. And it's like, why? These are, this isn't holding, like you would use 16 gauge for like more of like a load bearing type situation, thicker. And I'm not, this isn't in my world, but like, I'm, you know, I've seen them a lot for, on like two by six exterior walls on like smaller light commercial buildings but like almost never do you see them inside of a concrete building you know so it makes no sense because it's like this isn't all it's holding up is fucking sheetrock so why would you want to build like a wall with like a thousand pound rating or some made up number like that versus like you know when it doesn't need to be it there's no need for it at all there's like literally you can't it's just spending money for no reason and um uh, like, it'd be like getting, like, a 200-gallon a fancy $24,000 water heater for your house. It's like, why? It's like, there's no point. Like, it, it, you'll never need... It's it's literally useless to, to spend that money. And it's the same with the plumbing. They want so much. And so you you got to ask yourself, why? why? Why is it like that, right? And it has nothing to do with the plumbers or the framers or the il building engineers or even that inspector, okay? The reason that they have these high standards like this and they want it in these hospitals is because this is tied to federal money and like state money and it's big, 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 huge billion dollar amounts of money, right? And they want to create barriers to entry for other people to get into this medical industry, right? So they want to make it so goddamn expensive for you to make that building, so goddamn expensive and take so long for you to build your, your hospital, your doctor's office that you can't compete. You don't have three years to wait. They're gonna make it take so long because they can keep going. They've got all these, you know, they're doing this at a hospital already that's so huge and they're creating those standards to keep you out, all right? And so once you can, like once like the government kind of deregulates a market, we start to see a lot cheaper prices. We start to see a lot more competition. And some people say, yeah, well, the standards go down. Well, like if you're a framer, tell me right now, do you think I need to, uh, and I, obviously I'm not the framer, but do you think we need to build, you know, 22 gauge, two by six fucking walls inside of a concrete building? You know, th these walls are unnecessary. They can be wherever they want. They're not load bearing. You know, obviously not. They're just, they're creating these standards for a reason. And like, you get into this shit and you'll start to see why motherfuckers go like libertarian and Republican. Because if you actually see how much money they spend, you'd be like, this is fucking, like, why? Why? Why are we, why are we making it this fucking expensive? Now, of course, me, somewhat of a bloodsucker, I do capitalize on that shit, right? Like, because now I, you see why I have to charge what I charge because out of nowhere you find out, hey, you got to use type K copper. You need you know, Joe Sam fucking hammer arresters above every fixture you need. It, it really expensive, expensive shit everywhere. Just, you know, I mean, like, just to give you guys an idea, like the material on this job, this is like a 10,000 square foot job. I fucking eat these jobs for lunch. I shit them out. I can do these in like four weeks total time on the job. Like I can knock these out. And usually I'll spend, depending on material, if it's cast iron and copper, I'll spend like 25,000 on material, 30,000 on material, maybe max 30, max, absolute max, like 25. And then the fixtures will be like 28 to 32, something like that. Well, this hospital one, the 
the same job, the materials are going to cost like 56, 57. The fixtures are going to cost like 48, you know, because they want these special fucking shutoff valves, these like special supply lines, special P traps, special fucking brackets, special hammer arresters, special ball valves, special hangers. I want half inch rod hangers on anything over two inch on pipe. That's, I don't know if you guys know, half inch rod on fucking two and a half inch copper. Suck my dick. That's fucking dumb, dude. Like, like I'm doing it. I'm making money off of it. But like, I, I make the same money. We're doing the private shit, right? So like this job that is going to cost them close to a quarter million dollars from me, right? I can do this job for 125000 half the fucking price all day long in the private world with equivalent quality, equivalent quality, right? No, no difference in the quality of the work for half the fucking price. And I make the same money doing it for half the, because I'm dealing with a GC who's like, let's go, let's go, time's money. Let's fucking get this pipe in the wall. Let's, but we're not trying to waste money. We're trying to make money. And the customers get a fucking just the same product in way less time. And, and me and the GC are making the same money. The only difference is there's not fucking 50,000 dickheads, like bureaucrat fuckers, getting their little cut off the top and making this motherfucker take three goddamn years. So that's like, you see why I charge so much more on that private shit. Now, again, like, don't let me mislead you and make it seem like it's like, I don't make more money on that shit. I do make more money, but because it's, you can't fucking do it. Right. Like, uh, like Jared Williams, even like you, he has the money. If he wants to come into this world, he can't, you can't just fucking stroll in here. You got to fucking build to this and you have to have relationship. And even me, right? Like I'm somewhat of a known quantity. The fucking insur the inspector was talking to the superintendent on this job. and was like, well, who's, who's the, who's the plumber, you know? And, and he's like, he's said my company's name. He's like, I never heard of him. Like, and it's like instantly I wasn't worth fuck. Right. Which obviously I'm not. Look at this fucking garage boys. But that's a, I don't know. And that's how government really gets you with everything. It's not government. That's how big business controls government is they want to regulate. They want to keep you from coming into the industry, right? That's what they want. Like that's what NAFTA was about. That's what fucking the Trans-Pacific Trade Partnership was about. Like all that shit was, it's, it's different ways to, to keep you out of industry and open up the the other the these is global ones are about opening up the global markets where they could exploit fucking brown people on the other side of the world to get rich and undercut Americans. But even <clears throat> our domestic policy, it's all it's all regulated to keep competition out of industry. They don't want you competing, you know, and so like people have asked me, could can you could you have done what I what you did in other places? It's like, yeah, I could have done it in Florida, Mississippi, anywhere like Tennessee, I could have pulled it off, no problem. But like to pull to this size in like New York, fuck, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, in Washington State, I don't know. Like there's so much, there's so many bureaucratic dickheads that can be paid off and controlled to where like that industry, like I'm in industry, right? I do industry plumbing and, and in order to get there. I don't know if you can in other places. So I don't know. I just think that's some, some insight that's not based off bullshit. That's based off real world stuff that kind of, so I'm not trying to get political. And you know, if you guys are curious, I vote for the same guy you vote for, whoever that is. I voted for him too. So don't fight me. <laughs> don't cancel me. I did say gay. Don't cancel me. Bye.